Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dork's Dally. The sword is here. Dork's Dally. Here it is. Here it comes. Coming right at you. Hi, guys. Hello. How is everyone? Well, let me sit on my pillow. Wait a minute. Do you get higher up? Yes, I'm too low. There we go. Wow. All right, guys, it is a beautiful day. Look at this. Absolutely Look at this gorgeous. It's glass right now, almost. Almost glass. It's so pretty. We have a sea day today. Tomorrow we'll be in Bimini, so that's fun. I'm fired up for Bimini. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't know beach. what we're going to do. We might go to the beach right there. Yeah. Or just get the little tram car around. We'll see. I said to Michelle, I think we should go up and negotiate the golf cart, guys. I think they charge 80 for the Jim golf carts. I'm gonna be like, dude, I'll give you 40 buckaroos. Just let me run down to the beach and run back and I'm done. That's all I need it for. Yeah. 40 ones. I mean, here's the thing. We don't go far. Well, Bimini is so small, right? So you're only gonna have the golf cart for so long. I just wanted an hour. Yeah, but like. They probably know that though. They do know that. That's where they're but making The last money. time we went, sat down at that beach with the shipwreck, we were there for like, Probably 45 minutes or so. Then we drove all around Bimini. When, you know what I mean? Like it we, wasn't long. We, we had it for two hours, I think. But I'll be like, dude, I just wanted 40 hours. We just went to the breakfast buffet, the late risers. Yeah. Um, so lunch is soon. Probably go back for that. That's right. We might go to the spa. We're going to go to the spa today. Yeah, we'll go to the a sea day. Rooms. It might be a little crowded, but... It's probably gonna be crowded. Yeah, we'll just go we'll through go anyway. The, we'll go and sit on them stone bed things. I want to go in the plunge pool today. Oh yeah, but that's but not part I of the I know it's gonna day. be like packed. It's not a part of the spa, the plunge pools, but I love the plunge pools. The spa should have like a, their own pool. They should have a pool. Like you know that pool area? Why don't they make that like a spa thing? Or like some kind of like hot tub situation. Is there? There might be that. No, no, there isn't. I think some ships might have it. Not, I don't know, celebrity, but some, I don't know. I think somewhere there might be a spa that has, has some kind of like pool. Has anyone ever gone in the sauna with suspenders on? <laughs> By the way, we met people under 30 again. Now we have. Yeah, we met so many people on the ship, guys. So if anyone's uh, watching, ship, yeah. so awesome meeting you guys. <laughs> and, I know, I got to get my brows nuts. up. I haven't done my brows in so long. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so we've met so many amazing people. It's been fabulous. Yeah. Last night we met uh, Sean from Donegal. Yeah, we met. Yes. Yeah, we got a guy from England on the ship. I didn't get his name, but he's from England. Yes, no. We got a guy from Donegal. Which, by the way, guys, a little quick story. My dad's Irish, or at least he thinks he is. And he's like okay. one of them guys that like even made up where his family's from. Yeah. And the, from, the thing is, he was an orphan. Like, he has no idea where his family's from in Ireland. But he'll tell you they're from Cork. Okay. And I think Donnie Gold might be part it's of it, It's probably too. an area that he went to, so that's he where did. he wants, when he was in the service, so he wants to, he claimed it. He has pictures with these women from Ireland, and he tells, he told my mom they were his cousins. Not I'm like, Dad, not, why would you even come up with that story? No. Like, and Mom, do you believe that story? <laughs> they're my cousins! Sure. I'm like, it's called, he probably met them and just took a picture with them. I mean, they were probably just at the bar that night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we got hustled in Ireland by women. Yeah. You know, they, he said we, they had women like uh, dart, uh, or it was oh, even pool darts. Oh, we got hustled by darts? That's funny. Yeah, they hustled them. Like, they were like double or nothing, and the girls took their money. Good, I'm glad they did, because your dad's a, a... He thought he was a, a hustler. A player, so yeah. He got hustled there, and then one time he was in um, Amsterdam, and he told me that he met this like really beautiful blonde... They were in the military, and all the guys were like, "Yo, she's a woman, lady of the night. Don't go to, don't go back there with her." Like, and my dad's like, "Nah, nah, she likes me. This this girl is oh, into me." No. He gets back to the oh. room. She's like, "Oh, it's a hundred dollars," and he was like, "What?" He said he ran out, and ran back to the bar. That's fabulous. See, your dad's one of them. He's one of them suckers. Oh, God. Sucker born every day. Anyway, guys, last night we had fun. We went to uh, the comedian. He was actually really funny. He was funny. So we didn't even talk about that last night. Because we like we're it was about such right a now. mad scramble to get out of yeah. that theater last night. It was and packed. By the yes, way, packed. We saw the show last night. That's another thing. We had an Arte or Artie or however you want to call Artsy it. Artie or something. Artie. Artie. Um, Artie. Redemption. Art. I don't know if you remember the first time we saw this. We talked very poorly about it we were like that show is terrible horrible we left before it was even over well last night we sat in the first row guys 
and it was actually really good. Yeah. So I think maybe we just weren't in the mood uh, the first time, but it was a good show. Yeah, yeah, I, I liked really it. liked it this time. Yeah. I think the last time maybe we didn't like the lead singer this time. I don't remember that. Better. I just think we didn't like the show overall. Yeah. We thought it was a bad idea. We didn't even make it to the car. Yeah, last just, time. No. We were out. We left. Yeah, the car been, comes on I think stage. sometimes we get in bad moods and we don't realize it and we're like annoyed by everything. Even You could be like that. Like I see sure. people get up during that comedy show last night and I'm like, that guy didn't say nothing offensive. He just talked about his wife the whole time and he didn't yeah, lie. He was once. funny. He was funny. Yeah. But so we had a good night last night. We saw the show. We saw the comedian. That was fun. So yeah. we we made it. We didn't. Oh, and we that, actually made it to the late night trivia. comedy. The way they do trivia on here, I don't know if it's always this way. Oh yeah. But last night's trivia, you gotta do it if you're a trivia buff, guys. They they go through like your phone. And I didn't really understand it because we got there late. So I saw a guy's phone though. That's what I'm oh, saying. Oh okay. A guy had a phone and he had like, I guess he had like the app or something. And he, you you pick, but they put your name up. Yeah. So like, you, if you're in it, everything's on a screen. I don't know. The trivia here is like very high tech trivia. I will say this though: so, the last we knew every answer to every question. We yeah. don't know any answers <laughs> ever. So all the guys, it was like the dumbest questions. Like, well, that's what we need. Yeah. Dumb it was like, questions. I don't know what that was about though. The last like five questions that we caught were simple. Were so easy. They were like, so, except for the Goonies one. I didn't know. I didn't like. Yeah, what? I thought it was the Lost Boys, the answer, and the answer the was Goonies. So it was, um, oh, what was the answer? Um, I forget. But anyway. Yeah, like, we're, never give up or never die. Yeah, something like that. And I swear that was, that sounded like something from the Lost Boys. I don't remember from the Goonies. No. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Anyway, guys, what's going on in cruising? Oh, on the Utopia? Oh my God, this is actually a fear. Imagine being in the elevator. On a cruise ship, no. and it's just like Z -Z -Z. forget about it. You're just kind of like, hello. That's a never cruise again moment. <laughs> no, just don't go in the elevators. I take the steps a lot anyway. I so would probably have it. trouble getting on an elevator after that. Yeah, so you would step it's in it. Too lazy okay, too, we'd have to get our stateroom on the Lido deck. Yeah, for real, guys. I had a dream last night that Michelle was telling me that the room on the next cruise we go on is on the second floor. And I was like, what? He's like, no, that means it's an inside room. It's gotta be an inside room. They don't have any balconies on the second floor. And I forget who I was talking about. I was talking to somebody, and it was a man, and he was like, dude, maybe it's a balcony. Maybe it's a different kind of room. And I'm like, you don't know, dude. I cruise all the time. It's a, se it's a like second a, floor. A cruise room powwow. Yeah, I was like, I don't wanna be in, I, like, I don't know. Well, that's funny. That's what you're dreaming about. Let me know if you had a, ever had a nightmare. Cruise rooms a nightmare. while you're on the cruise. Let me know if you ever had a nightmare that you were on too low of a floor because you knew you were in an inside room at that point. Well, anyway, you guys, this happened on Wednesday on the Utopia, okay? And the power was out for a how minute. Long? I'm not sure how long, but it was back on by the afternoon, but the AC was still out. What? Now, I don't know if the AC was out all over the ship or just in areas. I don't know if it was down. It's too high for that. Know. You can't take but, the AC away. Yo, listen, these new ships, what's going on? They're like on? new cars. Look at our car. Listen, Tons was in the shop. I don't know if you remember or if I even said this. We tell you but this. But the tow truck driver that I rode back with one on one of the trips, the one of the tows, um, he told me that all he does is tow new cars. So, so he said don't get anything after 17 yeah especially after 2020 but he's like even the late teens well, we, got a, bus, yeah, I mean, we got a 19 so basically with 30, miles on it. yeah we should probably trade this in and go back to like a what like an 08 yeah it's getting like 09 yeah. yeah i can't believe like of all things i was like cars. we'll never have this car i'll never have a problem with this car ever yeah, well, I mean, everybody laughs about the Scion, but we had the Scion for ten a years car before update. one issue. I got a, a text from the guy. What did he say? Something about like the fuel line yeah. pump or something. Guys, I'm telling you, with that warranty, they're going to throw every part at that car. Good, it's gonna be they're going to rebuild my vehicle. He's like, your car's red now. Okay. I don't know uh, how that happened. <laughs> your car's red. Now. <laughs> it might be. Who knows? Maybe the paint's the problem. Well, then again, we have a customer, Jason, who's literally got a Wagoneer, just bought a new Wagoneer, yeah. which the payment's probably eight, 900 a month. Oh, sure. He told me that this car's been in the shop for like three, four months now. Yes, guys. These aren't cheap cars. These are expensive vehicles. Parts are on backward. Uh-huh. I mean, no. 
No, they're not. Mm -hmm. Go get the part right now. They yeah. should be on back order. I paid like 80 grand for this car. Yeah, he said they can't get the parts, so that's like scary. I want to go buy, back to driving like cheap cars. That's what I'm saying. Like buy the Toyota Corolla. Let's just get that Toyota Corolla. I don't care. That's what I'm saying. I'll lose weight. That's what I'm talking about. Well, let's get a Camry. We'll, we'll, we'll step it up. What else? Seriously. I'm not kidding Let's trade either. it in a Camry. I'm not kidding. Or have, they have Avalon still. We'll get an old Avalon. I don't care. I get, but we got to get something old. We can't get a new anything. Fine. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys. <laughs> we just went crazy. It's nuts. Do you like how we just like... We just made decisions right here. We All saw right. it on the news. All right, guys. The Carnival Splendor, okay, is now in Australia. They're kicking off their season over there. Yeah. So that's nice. Um, the Region 7 Seas now has Starlink. It does. Yes. yes, so the Regent now has Starlink. Starlink now, is a game changer. It's yeah. going to be so hard to go back to never having, like, internet. Well, they don't have to. In fact, they're probably going to get better and better and better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Now, look, here's a weird thing, guys. Princess has extended its better than best price guarantee, okay? Which is means you can book any cruise by December 15th of this year, and if you find it cheaper down the road, okay, like you can book for 25 and 26, okay, by December 15th. If you find it cheaper down the road, what do you fill out? You submit a guarantee claim form and receive 120% of the difference in OBC, in onboard credit. Now, here's my problem with this. I thought they just adjusted. Yeah, I, I price adjust all the time. Now, not on Princess, because I only did that one Princess cruise. But um, with Celebrity, I price adjust all the time. I price adjust $20. I would say all you have to do is call. And say, hey, yeah, I noticed um, on my your... My cruise is $7 I noticed, cheaper. I noticed on the website, I think my cruise job, can you check it? Do you know what they do? It's real easy, guys. Anyone can do it. It has nothing to do with me being an agent. I did this before that. Um, they just ask for your booking number. You give it to them. And they just, you just wait a, like a minute. And they're like, oh, yeah, you're priced it. Um, it's lowered by uh, $50. Do you want me to price adjust it? You say, yes, please. Yes, thank you. They just price adjust it. That's the end of that story. Now, here's the only one thing that comes questionable. If you have onboard credit, okay, and that was a part of a promotion that you booked initially, you might lose that. Okay. So if it doesn't weigh out, like, let's say I, one time I price adjusted, guys, for $500 cheaper. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. And then somebody, you did it like $1,000. Yes. That was crazy. I got somebody like $1,000 off their, um, they had a suite. So $1,000 off their suite. I mean. How did you see that? I just was stalking. That's crazy. You just stalk prices. You know what you do? You go on as if you didn't book the cruise. Pretend you're just booking it today. Okay. How could it be And you put the price suite? in. And if it's cheaper, you just call them right up. Now, why is Princess, the, why do I have to fill out a claim form and... That's like stuff I wouldn't do. That's See, just that like, me. I don't understand why they're making it, they're, but they're making a big deal about it. Like it's some like crazy benefit here. Yeah. Uh, yeah I do that cool all the time. It would be cool if they were like, it was so, 150 times like on. And, and then you're, now here's the thing with celebrity guys. You can get your cruise adjusted. I mean, you just get it cheaper priced. What's this? What do I, I don't get my cruise cheaper. You're just going to give me some onboard credit now. Yeah. Now, can you only do this once? What if it lowers again? Just keep getting There's like a credit. lot of questions here. But I don't know if I think that this is any kind of come up. I might have to jump off the ship. Get some news going. No. What if there were like there was a tidal wave in Bimini, but it wasn't a real tidal wave. It was formed from a man jumping off of the uh, Celebrity Beyond. He hopped off. You're, you're, you're... Somebody do something crazy out there in the ocean for us. I don't know. Just like do something nuts, yeah. like fall on the dance floor or something. Give us something fun. I went on video. We need on video. That guy, the runner. Everyone's mad. Was mad about the guy faking the run. I know. We run. gave everybody like content for days. Gave everybody what we wanted, man. We needed that guy. Mm -hmm. Somebody's got to do something crazy. He's basically out there. a hero. He's a hero. That guy. We got to talk about it twice right? because then you got to talk about him yeah. faking it. Yeah. So first you just talked about the initial screamer. Then you could talk about how it was all fugazi. It was a fugazi run. Yeah. And by the way, I would I have no problem with that. That guy doing that. I think you should do that once. More. Oh, I wanted to try my gaz my gazada. Yeah, but you know you want to just try it now. I'm just gonna take a bite on here for take these guys because they might hold on. Jim didn't gazada. even try his dessert, guys. Yeah. We didn't get room Don't service go today. Don't nowhere. This is very important. This taste test. Yeah, we the didn't gazada. get room service today, so. 
We didn't get room service. I was going to have coffee. I was going to have this. coffee with this, but. Well, let's just go yeah. at it. And then, you know what I'll do? I'll save the rest. <gasps> Somebody open it a little bit. No way. Oh, yeah. no. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to pull this up. Now, this is apparently, if anyone's from the Caribbean, the Caribbean or the Caribbean, let us know. We were told that this is like a Caribbean thing. Look at this, guys. It's like a pie crust. Is it? And it was see, like I a, feel like it might break. I don't know. No, it's pretty sturdy. Okay, okay. I mean, it's not as sturdy as I was holding it up in the air for. But let's get a bite. It's there's coconut in this, like a like toasted well, coconut. Well, you could break it in half so we could see the center. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what Wait. I'm picturing, guys? Wait. I'm picturing. Um, I'm kind of picturing. There's no center. It just yeah. was the same throughout. Yeah, I'm almost picturing like I'm picturing a coconut it, pecan pie. Here's what I picture. Do yeah, just pecan pie. It's gonna yeah. taste like like Thanksgiving. I'll take that bite. I'll take this bite. Am I going to take a bite? We're both taking bites. Mmm. 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 I don't like it. No? No. Mmm. No, it's good. I don't like it, guys. You can <laughs> taste, like, the Indian influence in their island, like, um... It tastes like a lot of coconut and pecan... Exactly, coconut pecan pie. I don't know That's what, what it tastes like. I don't really like it, but... It's not my thing. No, guys, coconut pecan pie. You know that's good. For all the southern people watching. I don't, I'm, I don't, I'm not into pecan pie. What? Why would you say that? I'm just not. I don't have to like it. You don't like everything I like. I don't like everything you like. Yeah. like so I like food. Mm -hmm. I don't like desserts too much. Like, I'll eat one. I will. But I'm not like into it. so salty and sour. Mm -hmm. I'm salty, sour. Very disappointing. And Jim's sweet. Being, I'm sweet. Sweet potato. Yeah. My mom used to call me. We were about to leave and go to the spa, and I totally forgot that I forgot to tell you about some more things. What we got? Oh my God, listen, Holland America announced new stateroom decor you can purchase for your stateroom. You know, for birthdays, anniversaries, or whatever, they're going to have this. The standard package is $54.95. It's going to include a door magnet, ceiling banner, and a lanyard. Now, is that something they didn't do before? I guess not. Like, so, Carnival's always done that. You can have Carnival and you can literally have a party in the room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe Holland America Holland's, like, too cool for that, or... Maybe. That's crazy. Well, now they're... They're, they're in the mix, it, yeah, okay? yeah. So, now, listen, they have a deluxe package, which is seventy nine ninety five, And this includes the same... This is kind of funny. I don't know why it made me laugh. They include the same stuff as the standard package okay you get your magnet your lanyard your ceiling banner yeah but guess what you get you see if you can guess wow you get one more thing that's that up this price what do you think it is okay so a cake no good good guess though um wait good guess is it those things the um canapes no the, the macaroons no. no not food one hint, it's not food. Not food. And what do you get? What are the things you get again? Door magnet, ceiling ba ba ceiling banner, and a lanyard. Lanyard. A crown. No. A time to celebrate blanket. What's it look like? Do you have a pick of it? No. <laughs> blanket. You get a blanket. That's nice. How though. funny is that? I love bucks. that. No, for $79.95. The other, deal. the other I, package is fifty four ninety five. I'll tell you why I like that. I always thought that was like, you know, like we've seen people that we know that had like birthdays on Carnival. And well, it's twenty five more dollars, and you get a blanket. Yeah, You're but no, what I'm saying, yeah, I get it, bucks. I get that. But what I'm, but I would, I would think they would charge more for that. And also, I thought the whole thing was more. I, I, when we used to see those people, like there'd be a cake and there'd be all this stuff in the mm -hmm. room, like confetti. I used to think like, God, man, they probably spent like 300 bucks on that. No, it's not that expensive. So it's not that expensive. No. Okay. And they plan to add other themes in like um, holiday themes. Yeah, it's cool. So they plan to do that by uh, December of this year. Hey, money, man. So that's fun. And that's something Holland America, do. we've never done Holland America, but maybe someday, maybe we well, get a blanket. Somebody on this cruise told me that they went on Holland America, and I think it was this cruise, somebody we met, and they were like, dude, it was all, like, you had to be dressed, like, you had to wear a suit coat. Oh, okay. So we probably See, I'm, Holland America. That was like when we went, when we were in the first, uh, with Natalie and Steve, on the, remember we, in Lumine? I yeah. wore a suit coat. 
we had a sweet class um, and you had to, back then, you don't have to now, I don't think, but back then you had to wear a suit jacket Horrible. to dinner at Lumine, which is your restaurant in a sweet yeah. class for celebrity. And so. I think like it's like those nice restaurants like where they have suit coats like in the back for normal people, but who's, no one has this size. No one has the suit coat for no. you. Like the, the Operation Dumbo drop of suit coat. Remember the, the our local, um, our local, uh, what is it? Tuxedo place. Yeah, yeah, Galelli's, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. Galelli's had a special coat Best for Jim. tuxedo joint in okay? the world. Galelli's is fabulous, Dude. all right? We even were in there on our wedding day, okay? We were, I was in there in my wedding dress after yeah. the church. Yeah. Because Jim's pants, what happened with your pants? Oh, so my brother was trying to fit tight my pants and we it was like broke. So, but the sad thing is we go pull up with a limo out front of Galelli's. No I pictures of this, no video of this. Yes, Just no. our memories, that's, that's it. That's all we got, I've never forget it. But, 2004. Um, the dad, Mr. Galelli, who passed away, God rest his soul, people love this man. He was like, um, oh my God, like he thought they did it. I was like, sir, I'm so sorry we did this. It had nothing to do it. And he's like, take your pants off. Like, throw me, like, you know what I mean? Like, kick they my ass They were so much. excited that we were there. They were like, this has never happened before. Yeah, yeah. And there's no record of this. No. Nothing. They, they know. I bet you Sylvia would know. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> you only know if you were there. Yeah, or, and so you were told about it. Yeah, you well, I mean? yo, so with that um, situation, um, the jacket, though, when I went in, you don't even probably know about this. Um, they were like, yeah, we want to check this jacket on you because there's somebody bigger than you who was the kid I grew up with, Bill Battersby. Yeah. Great, good dude. He passed away to a cancer. But um, he was, and I'm like, I know Bill's a little bigger than me. Bill's a little taller, too. Well, when I put Bill's coat on, you know, I never felt, like, his arms, they went down. The arms went all the way past yeah, my. Yeah, Jim's got little short arms. Yeah, like, I guess his arms are so his much size. longer. Yes, and the coat was a little bigger. And, I, and they were like, yeah, Bill, like, you know, you're you're not our biggest, you know. So who, like, yes. who, who shared this coat, you and Bill? No, he was a little bigger um, than me, but I had my own, I think. Every time I went in there, you just, had just your own grabbed coat. it. And, it, it and I there. remember I like lost a little bit of weight when we went in for something. And he's like, yeah, this is big one, you know. And I was oh. like, yes. But you know what's funny? You look back, it was probably 10 pounds. Maybe. Like, what do they say? It's a cup of water out of the ocean. Maybe. Right All right, what else do we got? Oh, uh, Norwegian, okay, announced it's a new cruise ship it's going to have out. They announced the name. Guess what the name is? Travaganza. No. The Norwegian Luna. What? Okay, so the Norwegian Luna, that's one of our granddaughter's names, Luna, so wow. that's super cute. The Norwegian Luna will debut April 4th, 2026. The home port will be Miami. That's right. Yes. So it will be 10% larger than the other ships in her class. So. I love Norwegian. I can't believe we never did the breakaway or the escape again. Well, we talk about this all the time. I didn't love it. That's why we didn't do it again. Yeah, but we did love it. We did. We love the outside walk around. Yeah, but I forget walking. The dinners were just. I'm not booking just... a cruise for a walk around. The only disappointment was. I mean, we were the on the Utopia. Charge restaurants were overrated. Yeah, well, we were on the Utopia Seas, which had a fabulous walk around that you didn't even do. I don't know. I like okay. the I like the East Four walk around. You know, yeah, that's, cool. that's what it was like. That exactly. Like I didn't, that. You didn't even show me that. Do you think like he doesn't have any idea of stuff on ships we were just on? That's right. Okay. That's right. He pays zero attention, but yet he wants to do another ship that had the same thing. Because he loved it so much. We walked. That's all we did well, was walk that walk. Yeah, but why didn't you do it on the Utopia? If you loved I didn't even know it, it so much, existed. I told you it did. I didn't. It wasn't like that though. Yes. Was it? Hundred percent. Full walk around. Full walk, walk around. Style. Full walk around the entire three sixty. You know what? Too one okay. of the reasons why I love the breakaway and the escape so much. Yeah, I remember we were cruising once a year back then. That's true. And it was like met. Like I still remember crying it meant so much in the more. Brooklyn bar on the way back. Mm -hmm. That we like had to go home. I still remember like you could tell the weather was different. Ah, uh, love there. But we don't have to go through that anymore. No, but I'm we saying we did. Are not a part of it. No, we're, we're yeah. out. We're yeah. out. All right, Royal Caribbean has made an addition to its prohibited items. What is it? New item on the list, prohibited, which I brought on a cruise, not in recent years, but I used to. Plug dryer. No. Uh, um, a multiple plug outlet. Why? So you know those ones that are like a four-piecer? Not like a power stripe, obviously, yeah. but like just a little four plug-in yeah. or a three? They're not to bring them no more because they're just, they said they're a hazard overheating. They're probably bringing so, bad ones from overseas. Like China maybe has like cheap ones people were getting. I don't know. Well, they're all, is, 
Name me a power, a multiple power plug that is not from China. Yeah, that's true. And they're all from there, so you can't bring them. That sucks. So, yeah. yeah. I was just going to go order a cool one, too. No, we used to use them. We don't use them anymore. I don't need them. There's so many outlets in the room now. Yeah, they take I feel care like of you don't even need them, but yeah. you can't bring one. That's it, guys. Have a good day. We will talk to you tomorrow. I'm going to the sauna. Let's We're going to the spa. On. Tomorrow we'll be in Bimini, so we'll talk to you tomorrow. We'll talk about it.